The Anishinaabe Confederacy to Invoke Our Nationhood Action is a grassroots collaborative of Anishinaabe individuals and communities dedicated to the resurgence of our own original institutions. The Oshkamadizig Unity Camp is a land reclamation of traditional Anishinaabek territory and a sacred site located in Ontario's Awinda Provincial Park, two hours north of Toronto. The camp will be used as a platform for action, where action will establish self-sufficiency by the development of its innovative projects. That is an assertion of Anishinaabek sovereignty. Sometimes they have to kill us. Because they can't break our spirit. We choose such a thing. We choose to right to be who we are. We know the difference between the reality of freedom and the illusion of freedom. For action needs financial support to obtain necessary tools for these initiatives. Supplies such as fishing boats, fishing nets, chainsaws, hunting supplies, tarps, canoes, seeds, wampum belts, financial support for our grandmothers and youth gatherings, and the creation of a radio station. Welcome to the Canoe Way of Life. What you are seeing is our emancipation from all colonization way of life, and we are rebuilding our canoe way of life. I am referring to the Two Row Wampum, where, the, where it is a nation to nation agreement between the settlers and the indigenous people. And one is represented by the ship, and one is represented by the canoe. Our indigenous way of life has been hijacked by the settler ship, and we are now right on that settler ship. And that ship is sinking, and that is evident by the destruction that continues to happen. We understand through the prophecies that our way of life is, is the only way for us that we know how to save ourselves. It is imperative that our canoe way of life is restored. However, us as grassroots people do not have the funds. We are not funded by ban, ban, uh, the, the bands, we're not funded by NGOs, we're not funded by anybody. We are raising these funds by ourselves, but the fact is that we don't have very many. And so we, we are asking you, the viewers, to help restore our canoe way of life. And in doing so, you are restoring this nation-to-nation -nation agreement that once existed. Clan mothers together, all the territories need to set up their, their, their government, which is the clan mothers. So today, you know, we don't have the Indian agent anymore, but we have in chief and council, which is a branch of the colonial government. And that's not the true government of the people. The true to the south, to the east, to the west. When we used to live in harmony, we used to live the best. We used to give and take, we used to take and give. We used to be uh, no consultations. The um, ministry had not made it aware or, or talked to our First Nations about uh, what they were doing when they closed this land down. The, um, the park was closed March 31st. We moved in on April 1st. And I would say we're reclaiming our land. Um, we're also occupying so that we can reclaim the land. I'm with the First Nation Solidarity Working Group of QP3903. And we're here at Ashkamadzik Unity Camp um, helping our, our, our Anishinaabe comrades, you know, brothers and sisters, reclaim their ancestral lands. You know, as a trade unionist, I think it's incredibly important at this time when, you know, clearly workers are getting, coming under attack on all fronts, that we recognize that Native people uh, indigenous people have been at the forefront of struggling against Canadian capitalism and imperialism and colonialism since time, since the beginning of colonialism. And that we have a lot to learn. We're learning a lot here. Because they can't break our spirit. 